Hey, I'm CNET's Rye Christ, and this is the 3-in-1 Ninja Cooking System. Now, why is it 3-in-1? It's 3-in-1 because it works as a slow cooker, but also as an oven and as a stovetop type cooker. So, what that means is you'll switch this knob over here for slow cooking, and then you'll switch it back over here if you want stovetop, or all the way over here for oven mode. On oven mode, you can set it anywhere from 250 to 425 degrees, and on slow cooking, you can set it anywhere from 30 minutes up to 12 hours. Now that's a lot of versatility for a countertop slow cooker. Usually you just pour your ingredients in, set it to low or high, and then walk away for eight hours and come back to a home cooked meal. Now with this, you can do a lot more. You can bake cookies, you can saute vegetables, you can steam bake and steam roast meats, and all that in addition to the basic slow cooking functions. Now one important thing to note about the Ninja is that it has a metal pan as opposed to a ceramic crock that we've seen in a lot of other machines. So if I take the lid off and take this pan out for you, you can see that it's this aluminum non-stick material. It's pretty easy to keep clean, dishwasher safe, that's nice. But it's so thin and that means that it conducts heat pretty well, cooks fast, but it doesn't retain heat that well. That means that when you're traveling, if you're throwing this thing in the back seat and driving across town to a party, if you get stuck in traffic, this one's going to lose a lot more heat and your food's going to be a lot colder than it would be in another machine. So if you're going to travel a lot, maybe consider something else. If you're looking for a countertop slow cooker that can do other things as well and add some functionality to your cooking repertoire, the Ninja is a pretty good device. It costs $199 and that's pretty expensive for a slow cooker. You can get it a lot less than that at Walmart or Target or retail outlets like that. But still, it's a bit of an upgrade from your standard $25, $35 machine. I think it's worth it if you're going to use all those extra features, if you're going to bake with it, if you're going to replace your oven, replace your stovetop. Sure, that, that's a good investment, but if you're just looking for a classic slow cooker that's going to make meatballs and barbecue for your next big game day party, I say go with the cheaper machine. For CNET, I'm Ryan Christ. <laughs>